Hey you guys, it's Molly. Sneak peek of what I'll be doing tonight. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'll see you guys in a second. So I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of what my studio actually looks like. So, drying racks, uh, Floetrol a lot, my packaging equipment, all my large canvases, my print holder, this is in my garage, my other canvases, all my paints, my husband's bike, my colanders, our golf stuff, more tables, and that's what I'm doing tonight. So, hope you guys like it. Hey you guys, it's Molly. I have a show coming up in October, so I wanted to get a couple more big pieces done. Um, and I know on my channel, I had asked if you guys wanted to see a large scale Dutch pour. So it's not quite a Dutch pour. This is really just a blow dryer technique. Um, but I coated the canvas. I have one in white, so I wanted to do one in uh, Payne's gray. So I've coated my canvas. I'm just going to, and I like it when it's diagonal. So I'm just really gonna make some puddles along here. You guys have been asking great questions. So you can always just put your comments Put your questions in the comments. I try to answer them. I'm going to have a kind of beginner tutorial for those that are just starting out, just showing up to my channel, um, want to learn how to paint. And I've uh, got a large scale wave coming as well. My colors that I'm using, I've got some, I want to have a lot of negative space really so got some cobalt metallic blue um, cerulean blue Arteza um, Windsor blue it's a really pretty blue I'm using, let me find it, the DecoArt Metallic to see how that's going to do. So we'll see. And then I've got some gold. I don't know. I guess I'll put the gold right in, in between there. I'm like sticking to the ground. I've been painting all day. Well, all night. Okay. Oops, I got one little thing of gold right there. We'll see how that works out. And then some white. I'm going to turn my blow dryer on so you guys. I'm putting it on low. Almost like a feather. I'm going to just keep blowing it out in these rings. I want some of it to kind of reach over there. I can always blow a little bit out with my mouth as well. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm liking that. I'll go around to the other side now. Position in, see if I want to do anything else. The gold in this is absolutely beautiful. I have these tiny little cells that have populated everywhere. I have big cells. Just want to add some more Payne's gray right up here. spot that was right there and then I might add a little bit more and blow that out this way. So good thing I saved some of those colors. I've already got that Windsor blue and I swear I'm gonna fall over you guys. My feet are sticking to the ground. And then maybe a little bit more of this gold out to here. you guys want. I like the kind of stream. I like the, the flow of the eye of the gold there. Maybe whatever blue I have left to go over that white. Okay. The next go round. Very, very cool. Maybe off the side there. I just let it drip and run right over the sides. Just getting the paint spray over the edges. Oh, I really, really like this. I forgot that I had that on. You guys probably can't hear me at all. I'm just going to blow this right here over the side.
Oh my gosh. I'm super excited. You guys will be able to see it way better this way. So I'll start you in the corner. Look at those cells right there. That gold is so bright. Wow. Like, I'm sure you guys, it didn't look that great from up above. But I mean, I love this. I like that the edges are like that. I, I normally do my pieces like that. Over here. Let me take you around. I'm going to take you to the other side. So this is that other corner up there. So if you guys want to know what to do for a big piece, let me see if I can get you around on it again. So that is the overall look. And you guys can let me know what you think. Whew, that was a big one tonight. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Almost looks like a feather, right? I can't get a good angle of it. All right, thanks for watching. You guys let me know what you think, please. Happy painting. Bye. So I thought I would just give you guys a little tidbit of information at the end. So these little quart plastic containers that you can get at Home Depot, the paint just rips right out after it's dry. So you can reuse and reuse and reuse. And you can use these for your, your regular paint. You can use them for anything, really. I use them for resin because they have measurings on them. And as well, let your resin set for a day or so and you can just peel it right out of there and you can reuse the cups. So that's my little tidbit for today.